is to attempt to remove those tears by using Restorer Finish. I'll go to Walnut this time. Now, this is quite a hard job, and this is where you have to really grit your teeth and take a risk. You might think, oh God, I'm going to ruin it. I'm going to scratch the surface. I shouldn't be using steel wool, blah, 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 blah. Well, this is where you have to be brave and believe me, because it will work. And here's the proof. If the camera can get to that. I'm going to just start blending this away. And as I work with the steel wool, you will see those little tears simply come together in a moment or two. I'm using a fair amount of the Restore Finish. And as I rub away, it just starts to blend. So that if the camera can just get in there to the side, you'll see where it's starting to really start to break away and blend away. And if I keep honing away at this, and I'll get to a point where it's going to look just as it did when it was first framed, back in about 1912 or 1913. Boy, this is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would, but I am getting it. It's starting to happen, breaking up the tears on the cheeks of this lovely old wooden frame. Been like this since about 1912 or 1913, as I say, but look, here we are. This has taken me about, I suppose, two or three minutes. There it is. I'm simply going to wipe it dry. And then the camera can come up here where the tears are, the way it used to be, and then go down to where I've just cleaned it up. Now, I've done that on camera in a fast fashion, but just imagine what you can do if you take a little bit of time. What